Hey folks, welcome to a new installment of Sarah Plays a Scary Thing. We are now playing Amnesia, a machine for pigs. And actually, um, this particular part that I'm going to be playing, this is actually the second time I've played it, because for some boneheaded reason, Fraps just decided to only record part of what I told it to record. So I got like 30 seconds of what was supposed to be the first episode at the end, and who the hell knows why. That's okay, though, because the intro to this game is horrible enough to where I'm probably going to react about the same way. And uh, just a uh, fun fact, the other part that it decided to just randomly not catch last night was the part of the game that actually made me nope the fuck out of it for the night. So, once I get back to that part, um, you're still going to see some pretty amusing whining and begging and pleading and crying and all that kind of stuff. So, let's go ahead and just get right into this. This helpful diagram of the human heart. There we go. He who makes a beast of himself removes himself from the pain of being human. Daddy. Daddy. Please don't kill me. Oh, God. Yeah, this actually kept me awake last night. <laughs> with these beds anyway. Now, this is some pretty heavy duty boogeyman protection here, but Sort of have control, sort of. Did a little bit of drinking last night, did we? Okay. I don't think there was anything over here that was necessary. Can't change my clothes. Can't rub the lamp. There we go, shiny paper. In my dreams, I see a man dressed in jaguar skins and feathered like a blooded saint. What came from the heart lubricated us. It crushed evil under its tread and liberated us all. The fanned heart of the jungle mirrored somewhere behind my forehead. My temple pounds, the blood boils in my skull. It feels as if there is something alive in there, a rat. A damn rat gnawing through my brains, eating its way out into the world. Phew. Even the laudanum will not quell its endless hunger. I hear my children playing in the attic, but it fills me with terror, not love. What desperate thoughts are these? Okay. Nothing there. Yes, thank you. Yep. Ah, piggy mask. 
How about fuck off? Oops. Open up. There we go. Daddy, daddy, find us. <laughs> yeah. There we go. I wake alone to a house in silence. That missing sound of children playing is like a dark and feckin' sep words, beckoning me to begin a descent to the loam where surely only bodies may be found. <clears throat> no matter, my children call and I shall answer. I will find them. Well, that ain't all you're gonna find either. There's the bathroom. No, you cannot use the toilet. Yeah, there's something terrible about these paintings. And these mirrors. I think it's mostly the mirrors. Could be the paintings, too. And I'm gonna sneeze. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. <clears throat> That's about the least scary sound you will ever hear. Uh, okay, you don't want to go there just yet. Got some more shiny paper gathering and shit to do here. There we go. Alright. I held your hand and watched the blood pool between your legs. You lived long enough to see Edwin, but not Enoch. I will take care of them, my love. I promise you this. Mm hmm. Another piggy mask. <coughs> Random glasses. Glass of teeth. That is not a shiny paper, I don't think. Nope. Okay. Now let's go upstairs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fuck. <sighs> okay. Even though nothing d actually dangerous happens in this part of the game, I'm still not crazy about all these noises. <gasps> Neither is our friend here. Pile of stuff. Pile of stuff. Let's see, I can't get in here, can I? No. Alright. But they slept in the attic when they were babes in arms, and perhaps they have hidden there now? I remember I insisted upon it, midway between my bedroom and my office. There's a bad man coming. Oops, wrong button. Oh, I missed this. Daddy says there won't be a Christmas this year. He is much too busy. Nanny says we must not disturb him. He is ever so busy. He has gone for work before she wakes us, and often we are asleep before he returns. We found a bird in the broken in the garden with a broken wing. We gave it to Nanny, who said it was a filthy thing. I hit it with a rolling pin. Shit! That's mean. Later we crept downstairs to bury the body when everyone was asleep. There was a pig in the garden. We heard it snuffling about. Then Daddy came and said we had to come inside straight away. He was furious, but we think he'd been crying again. <coughs> teddy bear. Yeah, because if there's one thing I learned from Baby Blues, it's that I want to pick teddy bears up and carry them around. Fuck that shit. Okay. That's where I came in. Oh, boy. 
Oh, hey. Oh, shit. Well, I guess I could play with the gamepad. I really wanted to. But no. I'll keep doing this the old fashioned way. Drag. Here we go. We're hiding, Daddy. I know, you little shits. A little fucking pig mask. there except a whole bunch of nails. Oh yeah, fun fact, in a machine for pigs you have no inventory. Uh, the good news is that your lantern never runs out. Um, but you have no medicines, you have no tinder boxes, and if you need an item for a uh, puzzle, you have to actually carry that son of a bitch with you, like this. Set it down to open doors, pick it up again. Which kind of, in a way, makes it a little bit scarier. And kind of, in a way, makes it a little bit more frustrating. Because you better hope you don't drop whatever the hell it is that you need. Miscellaneous bullshit here. All right, Pull that chair out. Yes, thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, he said, I know these ruins. He was a shabby fellow, all rotten with some malodorous disease. R rude. I caught him looking at me strangely, as if what he really wanted to know was how I knew of them. Biting back the temptation to box his ears for the impudence, I simply smiled and told him that my family's library contained intriguing travel books. <laughs> yeah. The illiterate oaf did not understand that, of course. He agreed to eat us, lead us anyway. I have told the children truly. You took your kids to some kind of Cthulhu ruins somewhere. That's really fucking smart. These old stones hold a financial benefits up <laughs> Yeah. Take your kids to visit the orbs. Yeah. Can we get Daniel up in here to kick this guy's ass, please? So, son, let me tell you something about some orbs. Don't fuck with them. Alright. Anything good this way? No. Okay. Okay. I can't go that way. I can't go that way. I got to go downstairs. Daddy. Yes, I'm coming. Yeah. <laughs> No, of course not, my dear fellow. It's my own design, Professor, along with everything you see. Most useful. You understand, of course, where the Ministry sent me, that they have concerns. Mm -hmm. Some 
crazy artifacts and shit. Yeah, that looks like some stuff you want to be dragging back with you. Another piggy mask. These things are everywhere. Good. Okay. Okay. I want that gun. Can I have that gun, please? Give, give me, give me, give me, <laughs> please give me the gun, please. Oh my god, I hate you. Fires out. Uh, interrupted somebody's poker game here. Can I get into this and get a drink? Okay. That's not quite where I want to go just yet. Nope, that is where I want to go. Never mind. <sighs> None of these are shiny. Not there. Not there. There. Huh? Ah, yes. The telephone. Hello? Is your refrigerator ready? The bank is refusing credit, the ignorant swine. I sit alone at night and weep once the children and servants are safely asleep when they cannot hear me. My darling, how I need you now. They say I have squandered my fortune that my investment in these latest machines has ruined the family name. What? That I was to remain a local butcher? What are these two arms compared to the multitude that can be applied <coughs> without pay, without tire, by adapting the mechanisms we find in the looms and the mills? But if the bank has its way, it will all come to nothing. If they come for the house, I swear I will kill them. I will kill them all. I will take my rifle. My rifle! Subtle hint. Subtle hint. Where once we sat to weep Lily's passing under weapons that cannot slay the angels to retrieve her for heaven. Look beyond the paintings, Oswald, before you once... Where once you watched her bathe, the children must have discovered these secret places and taken refuge there. Let's see, I think there is something up in this way. No, not there. Um. Shit. Oh, duh. There go the kids. Yep. Um, paint. Yeah, the paintings too. Okay. A shiny paper. The replacement is dissatisfactory, so like a pump. Better than the intestinal canal, <coughs> like a tapeworm already hosting intrusion in the breed. Brass better than copper, more resistant, filament sewn to bone hold. Ew. Marrow pipe removal with needle potential, composite replacement straightforward, will respond to electromagnetic inducement to increase yield rate. Serum provides accelerated resetting, resulting in naturalized movement within two or three days. Subjects still require severing of frontal lobes to reduce emotional distress upon reactivation. Damn it, damn it, the, damn this wretched soul, if only it were clockwork. Ah, 
That's not creepy at all. There we go. Okay. <laughs> alright, alright. And here we go. Okay. Here we goes. Nope, cannot go back this way. To run, hold down. Why does it tell you to run there? Is what I want to know. It's kind of a fake out, but still, I, yeah. It's like, it's like that thing uh, the first game did where it tells you crouch to hide from monsters. What monsters? And there's nothing there, but still. Daddy says we're not allowed to play with the animals anymore. We were playing hide and seek with Cook and he came and shouted at us just as we were going to hide behind Mr. Grumpy Teddy. Cook says it's because of the guns in there, but he always lets us help polish them, so it can't be that. Anyway, the room is haunted. If you sneak around in there at night, you can hear the ghosts in the walls behind the cases. They're often angrier, that's how it sounds. We think that's why you can hear them rattling their chains and slamming doors and things like that. We don't like it in there anyway. Okay. I don't wanna. I do not want to see. No! Shit! Hey, how about I just... Nope. Nope. Worth a try. That voice on the telephone, he speaks as if he knows me and I, indeed I seem to remember him, like a twin pulled away from the other at birth. I feel we are entwined, though I cannot conceive of how. I am a drowning man grasping the surface within my own house. Beneath me, I know that there are splendid architectures hidden in the dark if I can only find the entrances. <sighs> Let's see, there's the pool room. I must say, my dear man, you, you look awful. Oh, yes, fuck I you too. I seem to have picked up something rather nasty in Mexico. I drink the I water. do understand what you've been through. A lesser man would have crumbled, yet you have made all of this. Your great factory, your charities. It is a wonder for one man alone. It will all be mm. made clear, Professor. But first, a drink. Yes, yes, I would like a drink. Can I, can I get in here and get a, get a bottle of something, please? Please, please. The Black Cog. Huh. Details. I love details. Okay. I'll screw this for now. Let's just run off this away. Oh, I didn't notice that before. Oh, but it's closed. How many pianos you got in this house, man? No! Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's turn some lights on up in here. There's another piano. We got all this. Okay, look at these place settings. This is ridiculous. Get this chair out of here. Okay. So you have your salad fork, your entree fork. Why am I drifting like that? Okay. Your whatever the fuck fork that is. Is that a fish fork? Three table knives. <coughs> Excuse me. Your teaspoon, your whatever spoon that is. That's kind of overkill. And just in case that's not quite enough utensils for you. Hey, there's some more over here. That way. And there's that way. 
Okay, so we are going to take a break. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, folks.